Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Icon Swaps just dropped and it's live. I wanna talk you guys through some of the major things um, with this new part of Icons and the way that we are gonna be able to get first owner Icons into our clubs this year. Uh, EA obviously has changed it up with the pitch notes that they put out, changing uh, FIFA 20 Icons, the ones that go into packs. There's time stamps now, like a time frame for the mids and the babies the primes and the primers. So a lot of stuff with that, but this is finally what we've been waiting for today. It's been delayed a couple hours. They finally got it out to us. And I wanted to make this video right away to kind of talk you guys through some through some things that I see right away. So first of all, these are the swaps. You can find them in the SBC tab. It's just like foot swaps, very exact same. Uh, you know, you have to turn in cards and based on those cards you turn in, you have to attain those cards and you can get either an icon or the base icon pack, uh, or a kind of a set of two icons as well. So there's a couple options here, uh, but I think the biggest thing that we need to know about these icons is, uh, we'll look at the timeline and stuff, but there are 24 icon swaps total available, and it takes 23 swaps to get Drogba. I would say Drogba is probably one of the most uh, higher, des the mostly desired card of this icon swap, uh, considering this first first batch, which we will go over here to Twitter and look at right now. Uh, this is the first batch of icons on Twitter: Drogba with 20 plus, Haji, Owen, uh, Butragueno, Sanchez, Zanetti. So there's a couple prime icons that are in here, and then the six to 14 token range. So I want to kind of talk about through some things today, and also say which set of two. If you wanna, if you like, what's the best way to spend your tokens? I guess. Now, some people I know are gonna be going for Drogba. They're gonna wanna have that Drogba in their team. I'm not entirely sure how Drogba fits the meta this year. A guy like Michael Owen or or Haji might even fit the meta a little bit more. But I think that they, EA Sports FIFA knew when looking at these icons, they knew what people were wanna going to wanna go for. Uh, Rio for, Rio Ferdinand looks like a pretty decent one for me at 16. But then there's 24 total, you get 16, you have eight left. What can you do with those eight? You can get Guardiola, Okocha, or Schmeichel. So you're kind of left with not so very good options there. Um, yeah, so we're, I wanna talk through some of these today and then we'll go look at the objectives as well and talk about the timeline and some of that stuff. If you're going for Drogba, it's gonna be a grind. It's gonna take you a long time to do it because right now, um, actually in the objective portion of the game. All these icons will only be available through objectives. There won't be any SBCs that you can do to get an icon swap token. These icon swaps will only be available through objectives. And we right now, we have 13 swaps available. Icon swaps online, single player, and progress. So online, you have a lot of these in here. Foot champions, you have to win nine foot champions games. That's gonna be hard for some people. Some people don't play foot champions because they don't like online gameplay or they're just new to the game or they're, they don't play a game a lot and they're you know not as skilled at the game as some people are. So winning nine foot champions matches, that's gonna take some people a while. It really honestly is. So that's gonna be something that takes people a while uh, to get done and could hamper some people in their progress of icon swaps. Uh, and then there's a lot of these swaps in here that are very specific. Win three rivals matches using only gold players with a max overall rating of 83. So there's a lot of rivals in here. Seven of these objectives, seven of the 11 objectives are all based online with rivals, uh, you know, two rare with rivals, three of them with rivals, four with rivals, five. So like all of these are through rivals. All of the online games are through rivals, which is gonna make it tough because you're gonna match up against people in rivals who are just trying to play games. Uh, but also you're gonna see hopefully some people that are gonna be playing rivals with this as well So seven first owned Premier League players in your starting squad uh, This is where the first owner stuff comes into play. So you have to have first owned players. Those would be pack pulled um, or uh, Done from an SBC so this could put some extra demand on maybe some SBCs if they were starting They're releasing Premier League SBCs. Obviously, this is probably gonna make me want to finish Pookie He's uh, six days left in the store very cheap SBC that might be something that I want to do to get a first owner Premier League player. But you can see a lot of these cards are first owned, first owned, first owned. You only have to win three rivals matches, so you kind of have to make a team from each league, go through with those. So a predominant portion of the icon swaps are available online. Then the squad battles ones, uh, you have to do on world class difficulty, which this is also going to be hard for a lot of people on FIFA. World class difficulty is not easy. 
it really is not easy. So if you're somebody who is newer to the game or you're struggling, this is not very casual friendly. I'm going to be honest. I don't see it as super friendly to the casuals. I think having an Icon SBC that you could work your coins up to was a bit more friendly was more casual friendly. Even though this year they wanted to make the icon swaps more casual friendly, I think world class difficulty is pretty hard still. It's gonna be easy for some people. It's gonna be kind of, it's, it'll take some people a couple tries and it's gonna take, it's gonna be almost impossible for some people to complete it as well. So again, you have to do some NLS, Air Divisi, Chinese Super League. It's kind of based around leagues. You saw some the main leagues here. Then we have some of the secondary leagues for squad battles and then icon swaps progress actually i want to note that these are not um first owner as well so mls players air divisi players and chinese league players could have a little bit of extra maybe demand on the market there uh, for some icon swaps and then icon swap progress score 20 goals with first owned players in rivals and this is just basically well, i've already completed a couple of these because i was in a game when uh, the swaps came out. So I exited the game, it finished, and my progress actually counted, which was kind of cool. So I'm already started on that. But this is gonna come as you continue to play FIFA. So you're probably thinking, right now in objectives, we have how many uh, icon swaps available? There are 13 between online, single player, and icon swap progress. 13 icon swaps that are available to us. This is a little bit of a timeline that they showed. There is no date in the game, but the season one with the 12 player tokens, uh, I guess they're gonna release one more somewhere because there's definitely 13 right now in in FIFA on, on, online because we have seven, we have four, and we have 12. So they kind of messed this one up. It looks like this season one's actually 13. Season two is gonna be maybe 11 or 12. Um, but you can see right now that there are 13 in the game. Seven plus four plus two, equals 13 good job ea sports with your math and your graphs so right now you can only get up to 13 well if you can only get up to 13 in this short period of time i mean that's not going to take you that's going to take you a decent amount of time to, to grind all those games um but you have to get those 13 done i'm i would assume that they'll still be there when the second set will come out but if you stop at 13 you can't get anybody after michael ballack for this first set of icons if you're doing a two-part if you're thinking that you might go for a two-part icon set up here, maybe you're gonna go for Schmeichel and then uh, somebody else who's got 18 or less swap tokens. That could be something that you do. Um, but something that I've been looking at here, one of the cards that I looked at a lot before, this Pirlo card's not terrible for 14 swaps. If you don't think you're gonna be able to play a ton of the squad battles games, if you're a lower level player uh, and you don't think you're gonna be able to get a lot of the Foot Champions games or playing squad battles on a high level. If you are not as skilled at the game and that's hard for you, maybe trying to grind through rivals or through the other stuff that they bring out in objectives. Maybe a Balak or a Pirlo is right for you at 14 swaps. The first prime icon, I think Roy Keane's probably a pretty solid option if you're low on swap tokens. 15 swaps for a prime icon is nice. I like that one. Uh, Ferdinand, I think, is something that I might be going after at 16 swap tokens. Depends on how much you know, it's going to take some time to grind these, and I'm glad they're giving us time to do this because it's going to take time during the week to grind towards these icons. A lot of people like this Zanetti for 17 tokens. It is a very good prime icon. It's more end game, you could say, than any of the other ones. Um, and then I think a lot of people have their eyes set on Gerard or on Drogba. Gerard costs you 19. Very good card as well. Uh, fits the game well. So 19, but if you do 19, you're not going to be able to get any of the other. Uh, swaps as well. So if it's, it's 18 and below if you want to do like a double swap. So you could do Schmeichel in a base icon pack or you could do starting with uh, with Rio Ferdinand. You could go back down if you got Rio Ferdinand with 16 and then you could get a Kocha or a Guardiola. So that's an option there as well. So I'm a little bit disappointed in my opinion. I think that these icon swaps, I feel like they should have made it a little bit easier. I would have liked to see each of these icon swaps have a couple of the icons ticked off. Um, so I, I wish that if there were 24 available, I kind of wish that we would at least have 20 uh, icon tokens cost for Didier Drogba, just so that you can put some combinations of icons together, maybe get a couple in your squad, and also help the people that are newer to the game, more of the casual players, actually get this stuff in their teams. I, In my opinion right now, I think it's going to be pretty hard for some people, some casuals on FIFA, to be able to get this stuff in their teams. It's going to take a lot of grinding. 
a lot of grinding and a lot of gameplay to to get these uh, to get these swaps. Even the icon ones win three rivals matches using gold players. There's a max overall rating for this one, but then some of these there are the first owner ratings, of course. Uh, but you have to win three rivals matches. So. And then in squad battles as well, world-class difficulty. All in all, I mean, it's an okay idea. I, I would have rather they just left icons the exact same because I think that it made for some good market movements. But if, if their eyes, if they're not wanting to create market movements and, and pinching, pinch points is what uh, Food Economist called them. If he's trying to get rid of that kind of stuff, I think they're doing uh, a good job of that here with the icon objectives. But uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of a grind, man. Win five squad battles matches, win six matches, win five, win five, win three rivals matches, win nine for champions. It's going to take a couple weeks to get a lot of these tokens um, completed and finished up. So that is Icon Swaps. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the chat. I wanted to get this video out as fast as possible to you guys, talking about the Icon Swaps, how I feel about them, and uh, maybe the best... Uh, the, the best set of two that you would go for. I'm going to say if you want players in your team, I would go for the Guardiola and for the real Ferdinand combination. I think that would be the best set of two players, looking at the best two players that you could get. Um, for that, I would say that if you're somebody who doesn't think you can get a lot of the tokens, as I mentioned before, Pirlo's very good in this game. Balak's going to be a very good card in this game. Even Roy Keane looks like a pretty solid card as well. I wouldn't do any of these icons down in this range. Uh, unless they're a secondary icon. Um, Guardiola doesn't look amazing, but he looks okay. And uh, yeah, so that's my thing with that. I also would highly, I would not recommend doing the base icon pack uh, because you're getting a base, base version of any icon. And if you spend 18 tokens on the base icon pack, I don't think it's worth your risk because you're not guaranteed to get anybody better than that six tokens worth of Baby Schmeichel or a Baby Layman or Makalele. So I would not do that one um, at all because I think that would just be not worth it in my opinion. I think they valued Butragueno too high. I guess he is very meta for this game. It's a very popular card. But I feel like he he should be more in like the 15 to 16 range down here with like Rui Costa and Ferdinand. Um, but again, somebody actually mentioned, I heard uh, one of my friends mention this. He mentioned what if there were unlimited swap tokens? Why can't we have unlimited swap tokens that EA just keeps putting out objectives and maybe they have like end up putting out like 50 or so and we can get multiple of these cards and the people that grind the game more would just have more opportunity to get more cards. People that grind the game less would still have an opportunity to get these cards without having to fit inside the time frame that EA has with this icon swap and with the players and you know everything with that. I think that's a pretty good point as well. Uh, I just don't think this is going to be actually that easy to do. I really think this is not going to be an easy thing to complete to get Drogba. Because I know a lot of people want Drogba. A lot of people want this card. And a lot of people are going to get this card because people are determined on this game. But I'm telling you, it's not going to be very easy. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below, of course. Uh, and of course, smash the thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. We'll see how this plays out through the rest of the year. We'll see what the second set of objectives that EA brings out is. Obviously, this first set with the 13 tokens, get through many, as many of those as you can. We're going to start working on those. You'll probably see me do them live on stream during the midweek as well um, because I'm probably going to be working towards Rio, I think. I will probably work towards Rio because he would be in my squad for a long time. Having this card in the squad, uh, he would probably be there for a while. If, unless I change my mind, we'll, be, it, we'll have a long time before we can get to Rio. So we'll be able to figure out what possibilities that we want to go with. But I think Rio and um, a Rio and Guardiola might be the best player objective one. If you want the Drogba, go get yourself that Drogba. Grind for it by all means. Um, but that's going to be hard for a lot of people, I do think. Again, it's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Like the, th uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.